All right, we are back with episodes five and six. Episode five is called A Young Lady and Violence, which knowing how this show does not give a fart and will show anything, this title makes me nervous. I can't lie. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Mushoku Tensei, your jobless reincarnation, season one, episode five and six. Like I said, the first one's called A Young Lady in Violence. Last episode, we had Sylph, who we're just developing our friendship more, continuing to grow. She's becoming a strong mage in her own right. Stuff like that. She can also use incantationless magic, which is insane. But in order to develop into the next steps, because we feel like we're sort of plateauing in our village, uh, Rudy decided that he wants to go to the Ro Ranoa, yeah, the Ranoa Magic School, but it's kind of expensive, and he wants a job to be able to pay for Sylph to go with her. Honorable situation, I commend him. But and I'm pretty sure the job that Paul got him is something with Gizlane, who is don't even get me started on her. She came. Paul knocked Rudy out. Now Rudy wakes up in a cart, traveling along with Gizlane. So we'll see how that goes. I'm very nervous, very excited. I gotta find out what happens though. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below, like always. If you guys wanna support me and Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated y'all. Let's hop into this, Mushoku Tensei, or Jobless Reincarnation, Season 1, Episode 5, A Young Lady and Violence. Let's do this. She can't read. Interesting. Same with me. I tell you to ask that muscle bounds. Oh my god, she is brawlic. <laughs> they are... They are mean. A nine-year-old young lady in, Ro in uh, Roa. Until we turn 12. Talk about putting him off on his own. Well, this is going to be upsetting to everyone now. It's going to definitely mature him a lot, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. So many beast people. Seems though. Kind of reminds me of Raftalia from Rising a Shield Hero. I see. I didn't know that. Philip Boreas. Oh, I was about to say, why is his last name Grey Rat as well? I need to get his name. I didn't get his name. God damn it. Okay. Is his daughter going to be a little eccentric or what are we talking here? Just a little willful. Okay. I could see that intense. I like I like the color of red. Like I like her red hair and her red eyes. Yeah. I would say intense is a violent a young woman in violence. Wow. Yeah, imagine her being your mother. <laughs> she whew. <laughs> Not the situation. <laughs> I would also be running for my life. Just a little willful. Of <laughs> a delinquent manga. She's Mikey from Tokyo Revengers. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
詳しく聞かせてくれ協力なら惜しまないよわかりましたでは、お願いしたいのですが I wonder what this guard is thinking Why are we getting a close up on him? Did we just wake up and we're tied up? Are we locked in a crate? Tied up? Oh, this is a part of the play. This is like a torture dungeon. What the f is this plan? Yeah, he's, he's going for it. That is good acting. They didn't actually get kidnapped somehow, right? Is this not the lord or the mayor's daughter that we are not savagely just... And look at her. They literally knocked her teeth out. Oh my god. Oh, that's smart. That's a good way to escape. Good, he blocked the door. And they're already gone. I know. <laughs> okay, let's be, come on, let's be good here. Not a lot of people can read. She's the daughter of a lord, too. Yeah, something still makes me a little worried, though. That's the that's the yeah the guy who was under the the mayor, the one I was like, why do they have a close up of him? Yes, yeah, so he's behind this entire thing, like an actual legit kidnapping. Yeah, I'd start using magic. Okay, Earthbender. Good. Oh, solid wall. No escape. Join us, we'll give you a cut. Mm. I don't know what the currency is like in here, how much that would be worth, but 100 sounds like a lot. Raise your hand real slow and we'll count you as part of the deal. Ooh, like what, Rudy? Haha. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> yep. He's thinking about the he's thinking about the long game. You save you save the princess, the long term is you get way more money now. You get connections, influences. That is a great signal for everyone to wake up, come out here, and bear witness to what is going on. I thought he was gonna go on the offense, but no, we got get you got Gislain over there. He, oh, that was dope. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I'm liking the action in this. Both hand to hand and magic. Look at this beast woman, Ghislaine! She's a king swordsman, the best we'll ever meet. Oh my god, I love the way they animated that. Literally, before light, sound, anything, she was faster than all of that. Her sword looks... Oh! I love the ring. Oh my god. I love the ringness in your ears. 
That's crazy. That is so much blood. Like especially as someone who's lived and played video games all his life, stuff like that. He's always seen he's always seen these scenarios in a video game or an anime. But being it in like actual real life, getting your hands drenched in another person's blood, I would have the same response that he would probably. That is a, that is something I didn't think about either. That is a good point though. But I assume it's like most Isek guys, you die, you die. I'll give you special permission to call me Eris. So does that mean we're hired? <laughs> so she's going to be a Sundare for sure. I'm not saying that as if we're going to be making advances towards her. I'm just saying in her hard to get personality, she's going to be, once we break down that wall, though, that outer shell, she's going to be super friendly. I can tell at the age of seven, this man, Rudy's a gangster. That was a quick episode, I swear. A young lady in violence. Alright, on to the next episode. Episode 6, titled A Day Off in Roa. Maybe this will be like a day-to-day -day activities kind of thing. I'm excited. Really? I mean, she could. Yeah, Sword King. Yes. She can protect me at any point. I need to know more about this Grey Rat family. I'm very curious about that. Hilda. I love how he does that new thing that he learned. That's what I would assume, too. She's gonna... Yeah, this is this is the issue of being Powell's son. Like, okay, made a good first impression with him. Lord Saurus, Boreas Saurus, my father. I see. So Philip also. Oh my God. The dad, Sauros, is a dad that everyone knows. Everyone knows at least a dad like this. He is so strict, does not care. Like, super loud, bold, but he knows his shit. He's lived through many shits, you know. He's experienced. Okay. Again, I like their eye color, the red eyes. <laughs> don't talk back don't argue you're not gonna win against him and look how proud she is i know she's not even looking at him she's like why are we acting like a cat stick your hips out more the masters are fond of beast people i see That is hilarious. Tell me why this opening, in terms of the song, really reminds me of like a Made in Abyss vibes. Ooh, oh, is he making a little Roxy sculpture? That's nice. That's very well done too. I'm learning arithmetic. <laughs> it's just so crazy to think how she can't read or write or do math, but she is a master swordsman. And she just lit her room on fire. It's been a month. She don't listen. Try to convince her and she runs. Try to catch her, she punches me, and then runs. If I chase her, she comes back, punches me, and then runs again. Rudy is... Oh my god. Like, I just, like, she, like, I get it, you said she sound asleep, but she, 
this is the most risky, dumb thing you could have done. Like, look at this. Like... <laughs> He's faking that cry so much. That seems like a pretty good party in terms of a well rounded adventure team. Paul and Zenith. Paul had to be one of the swordsmen, Zenith had to be like a cleric or something. Probably got scammed a lot. If you got Gizlane dedicated and wanting to learn from Rudy, then there's no way that Eris is not going to want to learn. Gizlane's is just so amazing. It's good for you. It really does shape you into be a responsible person with a good work ethic. Oh, he's got Roxy, Powell, Zenith. The horse, what was the horse? Cavagio? Something like that, and then Sylph. Oh, I've been there. You start tapping, you just can't, uh, you gotta do something else. You just can't sit there quietly and work. I've definitely been there. I haven't normally attacked the nearest person to me, though, but... <laughs> Look at her little hat. Alright, a day off in, in Roa. Let's see what this place has to offer. The largest city in the Fatoa of the Asura Kingdom. And you got a market, a little festival, good shops, good food, good people. And apples, one copper. We're trying to get a, a level of what the currency is, you know, compared to our USD. <laughs> He's going to try to get over on him. Oh, even though that does look really good. And we're just selling this to a seven-year-old. It is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> this is a good little quiz, though, for them. Good job. <laughs> Dakita. She's all happy. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta, you gotta do those little tricks like that, naturally. Any book that has a chain like this has to be filled with dope information. <laughs> I like how Gizlan's holding him up. <laughs> That's good. That's a good life lesson right there from Rudy. I mean, kids don't have any concept of money. I remember telling my mom and grandma all the time. I'm like, just write a check. Checks have infinite money. You can never run out. But, you know, this is a good life lesson for her. It's a good start. It's a good start. We can start, we can start learning monetary habits. Fiscal responsibility, you know. Yeah, does it not look like aliens are invading? That's the Flying Fortress of Perugius, the Armored Dragon King. One of the three heroes who beat the demon god Laplace. So, this sounds weird, but I'm very un unknowledgeable when it comes to a lot of myth mythos and like lore, god stuff like that. Can you guys answer me this? Because you guys are really good at giving me that kind of information. Like, League of Legends, many, and anime, many different mediums bring up Zephyr, you know, Zephyrios or whatever. He's a Greek god of wind. And any, any medium I see Zephyr referenced in, it has to do with tornadoes, wind, stuff like that. So I really like the analogies and the references they make to old gods, stuff like that. 
Um, whereas Naruto, Amaterasu, you know, Sukiyomi, those are Japanese like gods and stuff like that. I keep saying and stuff like that, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is reincarnated as a slime. What's the other show where I'm watching where they brought up Laplace? I'm pretty sure Black Clover brought up Laplace as well. There's multiple shows where they mention a devil or a demon who's named Laplace. Is that like an actual biblical reference to an actual demon that people... Because I'm super curious and I sound super dumb. And I, don't get me wrong, I am. But if you guys could answer me that, I'd really appreciate it. Because I've heard in many different medians that Laplace is a demon or a devil. A, a book at, Oh, yeah, this is the show they mentioned in it. The, the War of Laplace. I, I sound dumb, but yes. So it's been 414 years since that happened. It's year 414. That's crazy. Yeah, I've got a lot to learn. See, that's just a random little seed they planted that we can, we might not see this place, the flying armored thing, for like 10 more seasons. But the fact that they showed us this makes me way hyped to see it, you know? Yeah. Why does she have this? Oh my. That's good that we get an allowance. And that's great that you calculated the change and everything, but you could have gotten, you could have gotten the book. Instead, we got the Viagra. Why would you say that out loud, Rudy? Just say my fruit punch juice that's from an ancient thousand-year-old grape. Okay, they're tickle torturing him? That's gotta be the worst thing in the world. That's gotta be, that's literal torture. That might be worse than if you stabbed me, no joke. God damn. Well, it definitely feels like we're stepping off into a new arc or timeline of the show because we plan on staying here in Roa for five years teaching Eris and Ghislaine as well, but also learning from them. It's like a, it really reminds me of like medieval times when uh, a, a family would give their son away to the local blacksmith or something as an apprentice. So the blacksmith would technically like take his son as his son for like, could be five years, whatever it takes, you know, they would cover room, board, food, everything. But also they would get an assistant, a helper, a kind of an unpaid intern, we'll say, and they would teach them the ways, henceforth keeping the line of blacksmithing and this needed profession going. Which is very similar to this, whereas Eris needs to learn these things. We hire someone to do that. We take them from their life, keep them in on board, you know, doing all this. And I just, it's a very interesting relationship that you don't see nowadays in the real life. So I, I, it's always interesting seeing it in a show. But I think the biggest shocker to me was the kidnapping thing turning from an act to real and me trying to process that. And then us being stuck in that situation where we needed to fight our way out and us doing a pretty damn good job. Like I was hella proud of Rudy, the creativity he had behind those fights and what he was doing to try to get Eris out of that. But ultimately he would have died. And that's kind of like an eye opener. Like, yes, you can hold yourself. You can hold your own up to a certain point, but this is still a lot of, there's still a lot in this world. And in terms of fighting that we don't know about that, we're not even able to calculate into our situations or our scenarios because we've never ran into this in our real life so it's like it's very very eye-opening is what i said and i like that and also Ghislaine coming in to save the day when that did happen was mind-blowing that woman is a menace and i love her oh my god she is my wife of the show so far as of right now actually it's kind of close between her and zenith like zenith is like a like a pretty damn good mom. I won't pretty damn good mom and wife. I won't say Powell is <laughs> turning more into a savage every episode. He was with Lilia, was with Ghislaine, was with Zenith. Everyone at the Gray Rat Mansion over here knows him, and is like, uh, I'm just saying. Like if I was Powell's son. It's been that way at a couple of places my mom has worked. Like I used to go in there as a kid and everyone in that store would know me. Oh, you're, you're insert my mom's name, son. Oh, you're the, you know, and I'm just like, yes, yes. Nice to meet you. This, that, and the other. I wonder what she said about me, this kind of, th but it's, it's, it really reminds me of that with he's like, yo, you're Powell's son. Oh God, you're way nicer than Powell. Like, it's like, it's hilarious. 
If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.